Casey Malley here. Here's some great exercises to work the core abdominals, get that flat tummy you've always dreamed of in these four simple abdominal exercises. Alrighty, for this you're gonna need a little friend. It's a, I'm using a three pound weight. Um, if you find this exercise is too challenging with a three pound weight, obviously you can start without it and then add it as you progress with your strength. All right, so let's first start. I'm gonna get down onto the floor. We're gonna grab your weight and you're gonna put your weight just between the legs here. So behind, just below the knees. Now we're gonna be in that chair position. We're gonna put your hands by the side of your body. And all we're gonna do is exhale and go into that little pelvic tilt. Now remember, it's the abdominals causing that pelvic tilt. So you wanna blow. I always say, think of blowing the candles off the cake. So you're exhaling. Now we've got this extra weight here. It's gonna make it a little bit harder to lift the hips. So remember, if this is too challenging, do it without the dumbbell first, the weight, and then add it later. All right, let's just keep going, just warming up. I'm gonna do four more, this four, and three, and two, and one. Now we're gonna make it a little bit more challenging. Clasp your hands like this, put your hands behind your head. Now imagine you're lifting up and over. So you're not just going over, you're lifting up and over. Your elbows are wide, try not to yank on your neck. Now, ready? We're going to exhale, lift up. And back. So it's a very small movement. You're thinking of drawing the abdominals in, up and back, behind the back of the ribcage. And you're exhaling up, inhaling down. Let's do about four more of those. Do you feel those abdominals start to cry? That's a good reason to stop. Or is it a good reason to keep going? Hmm. Couple more. Last time, hold it here, hold. Now we're gonna add the head with it. So the head goes down, the head goes up. So as the hips come off, the head comes up too, and then the head goes down. This way, we're working your upper body, and your lower body. So upper body, upper spine, lower spine comes off the floor. And we're gonna breathe in that position. We do a few more. One more, hold it there, hold. And then slowly come back down again. Now put your hands back on behind. So you're gonna put your hands right on the floor. Now we're gonna lift back up with that pelvic tilt. And we're gonna do like a little shift from side to side. It's one of my favorite exercises. Now, if this gets too challenging, um, you can bring your head off the floor, but sometimes this will alleviate the head, neck, and shoulders. You can even take your hands behind your head and cradle your head in this position. And then slowly come back down again. Woohoo! Slowly bring your knees down. So now we're gonna go to the next exercise. You're gonna put your hands behind your head, inner thighs connected together. We're gonna slowly roll all the way up, round. Now we're gonna roll down to where you feel those abdominals contract, and then roll back up again to about here. So you're working through that mid range of motion, and then lift, and then rolling down, and then lift. So you're working through that full breath as you inhale and exhale. Inhale down. I'm going to go a little bit further and back. You only got to go down as far as you can control it. I'm going to go down to my bra line now. But some of you might not be able to get there yet. We're just working to that smaller range of motion midway. Two more. One more. And then hold it here. Next exercise. We're gonna round back. The weight comes up, the weight goes down, we round back up to a seated position. So we round, lift, back, and up. Down, lift, back. So bringing that weight overhead is gonna make those abdominals like, feel like they're an earthquake. They start to shake. That means they're working. Shaky shake. Let's just do a couple more. Shakey shake. Last time. Shakey shake. And then roll all the way up. 
Nice work, you guys. That was four exercises. So we're going to recap. You got the first one with the weight between the knees. We do a little pelvic tilt. We put the hands behind the head. So that's your number one exercise. The second exercise is where we do the little booty hips. Your little switching from side to side. The third exercise is when we roll up midway. And the last exercise is your fourth exercise. We roll down, lift the arms over the head, and then come back up. So you've got those four exercises there. Try them and tell me how you feel. I want to hear your comments. I want to see how it's working for your body. Remember, share the love, tracymatch.com. If you don't subscribe to me, please go ahead and do it so I can keep coming back and bringing some fun, educational fitness tips and exercises. Bye, you guys. Take care.